Blackpink, a South Korean girl group, debuted in 2016 with their very first debut song, Boombaya, and won the hearts of people all around the world. With that being said, it took Blackpink just four years to rise to the top and get called as one of the biggest girl groups in the world. In fact, they were the very first girl group to perform at Coachella and reach 1 billion YouTube views. However, as time passed, the girls started flourishing in their solo careers with Jenny releasing her solo debut song and Lisa being the second one to become independent, then Rose and Jisoo started flourishing too. But today, we're talking about Lisa, the renowned dancer of Blackpink and the member who has the most successful solo career in Blackpink. Back on April 19, 2021, YG Entertainment revealed that Lisa was gearing up to be the third Blackpink member to go solo. They were keeping the details about her solo career under shadows. Fast forward to July 12th, Star News spilled some more information, revealing that Lisa's music video was already in the works. Then finally, on September 10th, 2021, Lisa's debut single album, La Lisa, dropped, which set the records for the most views by a soloist in 24 hours, 73.6 million views. Taylor Swift's Me had to hand over the crown to Lisa. Now, the song itself hit number 84 on the US Billboard Hot 100 and snagged the second spot on the Billboard Global 200. Lisa was making history, becoming the first female soloist to break the 500,000 copy mark in the first week of sales in South Korea. Money, the album's second single, also hit number 90 on the Hot 100 and secured a cozy spot at number 10 on the Global 200. Lisa was making it rain on the charts. Then, in October 2021, Lisa collaborated with DJ Snake, Ozuna, and Megan Thee Stallion for the banger SG, which is a really refreshing and tropical pop song. Lisa's exceptional dancing skills impressed the fans globally. SG also did really well since it climbed to number 19 on the Global 200 and rocked the Latin Airplay chart, making it Lisa's first numero uno song there. Lisa's meteoric rise in the K-pop and global scene undeniably brought a unique flavor to Blackpink, particularly through her standout dance prowess. Her moves effortlessly captivate audiences, establishing her reputation as one of the best dancers in the group. However, this spotlight on Lisa has occasionally sparked discussions with some fans questioning if she might overshadow others, like the instances where Jenny was labeled a lazy dancer. It's crucial, though, to appreciate Blackpink as a collective force. Each member contributes distinct talents, and while Lisa's dance skills shine, it's not the sole ingredient in their success. Blackpink thrives on the combined strengths of Lisa, Jenny, Rose, and Jisoo, showcasing the diversity that makes them a powerhouse in the industry. In such a short period of time, Lisa successfully built her solo career, making connections with big names like Austin Butler, Billie Eilish, and even Rosalia. But flying high, Lisa faced tragedy when she collaborated with the Crazy Horse Paris, known for its revealing stage performances. Lisa hit up Crazy Horse Paris from September 28th to 30th. Now, if you're not in the loop, Crazy Horse Paris is the famous cabaret spot right in the heart of Paris. However, netizens complained about Lisa wearing revealing clothes and even started calling her a stripper. But some fans respected Lisa's decision of being more independent and trying new genres for herself. Despite being involved in such controversies, Lisa didn't back down. Recently, there's been quite a buzz surrounding Lisa, also known as La Lisa Manoble, and her contract renewal with YG Entertainment. Rumors have been circulating that Lisa has decided not to renew her contract with the agency, turning down an excellent offer of approximately $37.7 million. Now, let's take a look at how things have been for Lisa currently, and just why she didn't renew her contract with YG Entertainment. YG Entertainment, in response to these speculations, stated that discussions regarding Lisa's re-signing are still underway, and there's no official confirmation of the rumors. Last week, a foreign media outlet, Star.setn, added fuel to the fire by reporting that Lisa is likely to sign a new contract with a U.S. label instead of YG Entertainment. According to this report, the U.S. record label has made a tempting offer, including a signing bonus surpassing 50 billion won and promises of various entertainment ventures. These ventures span across music, videos, fashion, and concerts, with the additional perk of producing six albums. Additionally, there are whispers that Lisa might gain ownership of her future music, have the right to establish her own studio, and collaborate with other musicians. It's essential to note that these details are still in the realm of speculation and lack official confirmation. Earlier, there were rumors about Lisa receiving lower pay compared to her fellow band members at YG Entertainment, though the agency did not confirm these reports. 
Meanwhile, Lisa's fellow Blackpink members, Jenny, Rose, and Jisoo, have not yet revealed whether they intend to continue with the same agency. The uncertainty surrounding Lisa's contract renewal has stirred discussions about the dynamics within Blackpink and their future as a group. Fans are eager to know not only about Lisa's decision, but also about the choices that other members may make regarding their contracts with YG Entertainment. While some fans express concern about the potential departure of Lisa from YG Entertainment, others are excited about the prospects of her potential collaboration with a U.S. label. The speculated offer, which includes a diverse range of entertainment opportunities and creative freedom, has certainly captured the imagination of many. Fans are also excited to learn about the new side of Lisa, once she signs up a contract with the U.S. label and becomes a part of Hollywood. While Jenny made her name in Bollywood by partaking in weekend show The Idol, where she served as one of the backup singers and dancers of Lily Rose Depp, The Idol was also a success in the U.S., as well as in Korea, since netizens thought that Jenny is finally becoming her authentic self. So, just like that, Lisa might become a more authentic version of herself. Lisa also spilled the details on her evolution since 2013 in a Harper's Bazaar Korea interview. Surprisingly, it's not the glitzy aspects of her life that she feels have undergone the most significant transformation. Looking back at her rookie days seven years ago, Lisa pointed out a notable change – her facial features. According to her, the most striking shift has been the loss of cheek fat, revealing that her once baby-faced look has evolved. It's a subtle yet significant transformation that reflects her journey in the limelight. But amid the changes, one thing has remained steadfast for Lisa – her unwavering commitment to giving her best on stage. Whether she was a rookie or now a celebrated artist with a massive international fan base and luxury brand deals, Lisa emphasized that her dedication to delivering stellar performances has been a constant. Her development from being the goofy maknae, or youngest member, to becoming an independent young lady is crazy, and fans did not see that coming. Being born and raised in Thailand, Lisa has successfully gotten the title of being the most successful and popular idol in Thailand by various media outlets. In the world of K-pop, contract renewals and group dynamics are topics that fans closely follow. The decision of a member to stay with the current agency or explore new opportunities can have a significant impact on the future trajectory of the group. Alright folks, here's the scoop. Fans are deep in talks, crossing their fingers for some official word from Lisa and the other Blackpink crew about what's next. They're craving the lowdown on who's staying, who's going, and what the future holds for the group. As we wait on those statements, the K-pop crew is buzzing with excitement and rumors. It's like a mystery waiting to unfold, and everyone's got their antennas up, trying to predict what's in store for Lisa and the whole Blackpink gang. That concludes our Lisa's contract saga. Now, spill your thoughts in the comments down below. What's your take on Lisa's brand new contract? 